dear old auntie, you probably knew, or maybe you didn't. Fact is, during my childhood, you became my lifesaver. I had no one to turn to about being different from all my friends. We never spoke a word about it, but I know that you knew. Without this respite from the rest of the world, I would not be alive today. At 15 years old, after a boy revealed my secret, I decided to end my life. I stood with a noose around my neck, ready to kick the stool away but decided to give life another chance. I joined the Navy and at the age of 27, I had reached the rank of a submarine captain, patrolling the Barents Sea in the midst of the Cold War. Not long after, my first wife found women's clothing hidden in a bag in our cellar. When I was finally exposed, our marriage couldn't survive. So why is it important to have my gender legally recognized? I live my life as a woman. I am confident in my female appearance, so why am I complaining? Well, just imagine that all your ID documents were registered in the opposite sex. Your daily errands would be a humiliating and degrading experience. Picking up medicines, taking out books, going into a bank, going to a dentist or a doctor, all of these simple actions would suddenly become painful hurdles. I could probably get gender reassignment paid by the Norwegian health authorities, but first I would have to undergo a psychiatric assessment, then hormonal and surgical treatment. But I'm not ill. There is nothing wrong with my body, and I do not want to be castrated. I am standing up to this injustice. Everyone deserves the right to express the gender that is their identity. I am hopeful that through engagement in Norway and across the world, people will be able to live without fear and humiliation. My dear old auntie, you never got to read this letter. You died some years ago, but without your support and fighting spirit, I could never have made it through childhood. You gave me access to your house, you let me use your clothes and dresses when you were at work. Thank you. Yours sincerely, John Janet Sulsta Bremer, human being.